So here you have a champagne that has been chilled properly, and now you look at it, it should have a nice pale gold color. You want to smell it, of course. And a lot of people refer to yeasty, to the smell of champagne, you know, or the taste of champagne. But um, it's true. I mean, uh, if you bake bread um, and you know what's going on in your kitchen, in your oven, and there are a lot of similarity here between uh, the yeastiness of champagne because it has yeast in it, simply. Um, once you have smelled it, you want to look at the bubbles. And the sign of a well-made champagne is a lot of bubbles and a lot of tiny bubbles. You don't want this big thing, you know, because then it's probably not the right champagne or not champagne at all. It's what I call the Coca-Cola method, uh, sparkling wine that costs three or four or six dollars. And it's a wine that has an age and where the bubbles were injected um, not naturally. This is a sign of a well-aged champagne. It takes a few years for champagne to be ready. But remember, what's easy about serving champagne is that you don't need to, to know a lot about the years. Because when you buy a bottle of champagne, it's ready to drink. It's not released before that time, so you should enjoy it.